tell a friend to tell a friend. If you watch JT Hustle's reaction, you never know what you might get if you watch the entire video. So I'm gonna insert this in as well. What's up, us? This is your boy JT Hustle's back here on another video. Hey, you guys, I think this will be a very interesting reaction. Hope you guys get as much value out of it as I plan on getting out of it. Um, haven't seen this video before, just like many of the other videos we reacted to. Comment down in the premiere of this video or in the description of this video if you agree or disagree with any of the points being made. I'm a firm believer that you can make money with no money if you follow the blueprint outlined in Rich Dad, Poor Dad, written by Mr. Robert Kiyosaki, intellectual property being a way that you can add an asset to your asset column without purchase. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Yo, yo, shout out to JT Hustles for teaching people how to become entrepreneurs on YouTube and all over social media. Continue the good work, my brother, JT Hustles. <laughs> Link to her channel is already down in the description below. Be sure to go follow and let them know JT Hustles sent you. It's your girl Nikki, the deal finding Debo. Welcome back to my channel where I show you how to either make money or save money. And today we are going to talk about making money with side hustles that I know can pay $10,000 a month or even more with no money needed. Yes, these are side hustles that can even provide a passive income for you when you have no money, honey, yes, when you are broke. So you don't want to miss this video. You're definitely going to want to watch this one all the way through. So make sure you hit that thumbs up button and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications. So I'm not even going to play around with this one. I know you want to get to the money options. And the best part is a lot of these things I have done myself. So I have first and experience. I can tell you these options can get you $10,000 a month or even more. So I'm going to jump into the first one and it happens to be something that is quite popular on my channel and it is voice narration. Yes, I know you probably thought I was going to say free gift cards, but no, it's not it. Okay. I don't think free gift cards don't get you $10,000 a month, but yes, okay. it is voice narration. So voice narration is when you record audio books or do some other kind of voiceover. But I am going to specifically talk about voice narration because that is a passive income that I just became official at. Okay, so a lot of you have actually subscribed to my channel because you have seen comments that I placed on either Cat Theo or Marissa Romero's videos regarding my experience with ACX voice narration. So long story short, for those of you that do not know, I did one audition and landed two audiobooks with an author. So I am not experienced at this. This was my first time ever doing this. I do have a degree in communications and theater, but I have never done a voice narration. So it was my very first time. Now I can tell you voice narration is an awesome way to earn a passive income. And with ACX, it's totally free to sign up. You don't have to have any experience. I know a lot of people ask, like, do you have to do like this full blown profile and put samples up? Yeah, that can help, but I didn't have that stuff. I didn't even have a profile picture up at the time. So I can say you can land a voice narration gig with zero experience if you're good enough at what you do. So it's really easy. You just put in for an audition. I highly suggest you audition for books that are interesting to you because the last thing you want to do is be locked into a contract with a book that bores you. ACX is the company that I signed up for. I'm going to link them down below so that you can check them out and get more details or you can head on over to my ACX playlist and see all the videos that I've done on ACX because I don't want to take up all the time on this whole voice narration thing. A lot of you already know about it. All right, and that's through Amazon. Uh, we mentioned it in the past. Um, very dope, very dope. Um, Amazon ACX, you can Google it, check it out um, whenever you get an opportunity to. Uh, like I said before, you go over to her channel, click her link, and check it out as well. She has a whole playlist, like she just mentioned, about that subject matter. So, um, idea 
just I want to put it out there to whoever uh, finds value in this. So one thing that I'm personally doing is my daughter's three years old now and she's learning very fast, very smart young woman. Um, and once she's able to read a book in its entirety from cover to cover, I want to have her start reading my books and then her voice will be my audio books now if you're somebody out there that doesn't want to do that for whatever reason that's fine you can have your significant other do it you can have your mom do it you can have one of your friends do it or you could just hire somebody um and allow them to do it as well so once you go into the program you'll see the different ways that somebody is compensated and if you get with the right authors, I tell you guys all the time, my books alone generate enough income to pay all of my bills every month. Also, um, I know people that have utilized ACX program so that they got their audio books a part of Audible, like I'm sure many of you have heard of Audible. So if you want to get your books available on Audible, um, you can also do this for your own books. Right? You guys know I'm really big on making money off books, trying to encourage you to become an author because of what being an author has done for my life. Not what somebody told me. Not what I think it can do, but what I've done for myself by becoming an author. That's something that I'm committed to doing for the rest of my life. And I have a program teaching others how they can do the exact same thing. And we're updating it on a regular basis so that we can empower people uh, to make passive income and scale it up. So that it, it can be a real income stream for you for the rest of your life. And you can pass it on to your children. We also start in a book club where for those people that don't want to read books, we actually going to do book reviews and talk about business books and give away those nuggets as well for the people that don't have the time uh, to tap into that. You can become a patron if you're interested in joining the book club. We're going to start it out here uh, early this summer. And if you want to know how to make your own books that generate passive and semi-passive income for you, links to that is down in the description as well. But let's keep it going. If you don't, I have other videos that will explain that. But yes, you can earn a passive income. Once your audio book is out, you can earn 50% of the royalties. That's the deal that I have. Or even you might have somebody that's willing to pay you up front. And in addition, will give you royalties or it could be one or the other. So there are various options on the contracts that ACX provides. But yes, that will be a passive income for seven years. So you do one audio book, you can be getting checks for seven years. Need I say more? Head on over to ACX and sign up over there if you're interested in that. So if you're interested in voice narration and audiobooks, you might be interested in ebooks. And that is another option for you to earn a passive income and even make $10,000 or more because you can self-publish an ebook on Amazon and that will be a passive income. And if you advertise it right, or if you get the word out good enough. Anything related to books, so I'm with her. I agree 100%. I look forward to reading your comments. Um, also, hey, I wanna hear from you if you've done this before. Now, it, can one book create $10,000 a month? Yes, it is possible, what, but what is most realistic in my experience is that you're gonna have a book series whether it's children's books or portfolio of books that add up to $10,000 a month. I'm not trying to discourage anybody out there. So you might be the exception to the rule that writes one single book one time and that book generates $10,000 or more per month. There are people out there that are operating at that level. They're marketing the book effectively. They have a funnel in place and that creates passive income for them. However, what I think is most practical that anybody can do is that if you get committed to, okay, what book series do I want to work on? For me, it's the Hustler's Guide. I got a Hustler's Guide series that I'm going to continue to add to. We got the first book was about starting your own independent courier service. The next book was about if you're a felon, how do you become a legitimate entrepreneur and scale up to six figures that way? You guys got to stay tuned and you guys will see all these other books that I'm going to add to that series. And then somebody will be able to pick and choose which book out of the series they're most interested in. Or if they want to collect them all, they'll have a comprehensive look list of books. And what makes my books so valuable is not even how much money they generate me, 
but how much money they're going to generate my end user because I am in the business niche. And my goal is, is that if you collect the entire series of the hustlers guides and you go through them and change your financial situation, you also leave that book series to your kids, to your grandkids, to their kids and grandkids. If word just happens to spread that your ebook is that good, you can definitely bang out $10,000 a month or more. Now, the one thing that I will say is it will help if you are great at writing. You are not going to be very successful at doing an ebook if your grammar is horrible. And if you're not one of those people that has a natural gift for grammar, don't worry too much about it because I highly suggest that you get Grammarly. Grammarly will spell check your stuff. I'm a blogger, so I use Grammarly every single day. I often get banged by Grammarly like, this is not correct. This is not correct. This is how you can fix it. So Grammarly is a great free option and I actually have it installed on my Chrome desktop and bam, you can just easily use it. And they have an app too. I know on iPad, they have a new version, but yes, self-publishing that ebook is an awesome option. Another great thing about self-publishing an ebook is that you don't have to worry about either paying a distributor or paying to get a book printed up. You can actually create an ebook and self-publish it like almost instantly to Amazon. Okay. So, and you can do the same if you use Amazon's KDP service. Also give you guys another nugget out here. And full disclosure, right? I pride myself being the underground king of practical entrepreneurship. I am going to ghostwrite a book and put it out there just to show people that you can ghostwrite a book. People hire ghostwriters to create music, to create scripts, to write books for them. That doesn't make you an inefficient person. That means that you're too busy Right, we all have life going on, so there's nothing wrong with ghostwriting, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that. But that's another video for another. I highly suggest if you're good at writing, or if you're interested in writing, and you have knowledge to share, you have a skill, something that people will want to know about, you'll be surprised at the things that people will pay for. So yes, self-publish, and you can get 10k or more. So number three is something that I'm actually in the process of doing, and that is creating an online course. You will be surprised of how big online courses have gotten and how much you can charge for an online course because people are willing to pay for knowledge. And the best part Thanks. is I'm currently building mine on Thinkific and it is free to start on Thinkific, okay? So you can build up from there once you get your stuff up. But yes, you can start with no money. So with online courses, you can add video, you can add text. There are so many options to make your online course more entertaining, more palatable, and make people want to pay more money for it. So yes, Thinkific, again, is a great resource for doing that when you are broke and you want to make money. And once that online course is up, you will be making money in your sleep. It is a passive income, and there are plenty of people that make well over $10,000 a month for creating online courses it is possible and i definitely believe in it and that is why i am doing it because it is definitely a real option that will pay so number Absolutely. four is something that i have been doing for years and it is blogging yes creating a website is this is one income stream that i am not in yet um however i am interested in creating my own blog. Now, technically, uh, I guess people call, you know, what the video format of vlog, and you guys know I have the Meet the Hustles YouTube channel where I post my daily vlogs. Um, so if you wanna see the daily life of a full-time entrepreneur, you can head over there and check it out. Um, but for those of you out there that are active bloggers, been doing it for a while, got some experience, I actually wanna hear from you guys, right? I'ma lean on you all and tell me as a blogger, um, do you guys agree or disagree with that statement? So I am currently using Bluehost to host my website. What the hell did you just say? Bluehost to host my website. Uh -oh. Cut the beat. Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. If we gonna talk about web hosting, you guys know I got I gotta I gotta make my pitch. Hey, 
Some of you guys know this because you follow me on Instagram, but for the benefit of those that don't, I want to let you know. Hey, if you a side hustler, if you a hustler, a legitimate entrepreneur or aspiring entrepreneur, you need to have your own domain name, your own web hosting, and your own website. Why? Because we do not control YouTube, Instagram, any of these other social media platforms. We leverage those platforms. However, they can change the algorithm and it doesn't have to be in our favor as long as they believe that it is a better business decision on their end. So having your own private website is super necessary whether you're building a business brand or a personal brand. So enter in my web hosting site, jhfhosting.com, also known as hustlefamhosting.com. No matter what you put in, it's going to take you to the same website. It looks like this. We provide you with web hosting. You can get your SSL certificate. You, you can secure your domain name. So we are just as efficient as any other web hosting service out there. However, this one is from your boy because as I grow this media company, I want to be a comprehensive service to you. So I want to tell you about different businesses, sow that seed in you, and give you some tools like JHF Hosting so that you can go secure your domain name, your web hosting, your SSL certificate, start building your website. We also offer 24-7 support. So it doesn't matter whether it's night or day where you are, you can get 24-7 support. So if you you need some web hosting? Hey, check out your boy JHF Hosting. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. You can earn a passive income through your affiliate links. That is how I make most of my money is through the affiliate links on my website. And I'm going to link this video right here so that you can find out more about creating an income through affiliate links. But yes, I do highly suggest that you start a blog and drop in those affiliate links. Another way of making money with your blog is by signing up for AdSense. That is like out of the gate, the easiest way to start earning a passive income on your blog. They make well over $10,000 a month. What do a lot of people think of when they think of Google AdSense? They think about becoming monetized on YouTube. And that is the other way that can actually make you well over $10,000 a month. And there are so many big facts out there that are well, well, well over $10,000 a month. YouTube, you've seen it. You've seen the big ones and even ones that aren't in the millions or even the hundreds of thousands are making over 10K a month in ad revenue. And that is an option. You really don't have to show your face and you can still make money. So I know you gamers are gonna like this sixth option and that is playing video games. Yes, you can Facts. get paid over $10,000 a month for playing video games. On and Twitch. Just, there are plenty of people that are doing it. So the ways that a lot of people do it, as I previously mentioned, is through YouTube. Yes, you can earn AdSense revenue by gaming, but also you can game and start a Patreon account. And this is also helpful for people that have YouTube channels as well. I know a lot of people who have YouTube channels and even podcasts will use Patreon because when people donate to their Patreon account, then that helps them build up their equipment or, you know, get extra money that they need, okay? So, yes, Patreon is a great resource for earning money, and you can play video games and get people to add money to your Patreon account. This Patreon, for anybody that may not know, gives you the power of creating your own subscription service. I have patrons, um, and I'm always thinking of new ways to add value there. So currently, we got a couple of exclusive videos that you can't even see on my YouTube channel, but they're in my Patreon on uh, different income streams. How do you get a contract with AAA and et cetera and start making money at, with your own roadside assistance business? Um, a list of companies for you to check out if you wanna be an independent courier. Uh, a resource if you wanna get big mail contracts. Uh, like I said, we're also going to transform it and add the book club side of it as well too, where it'll be private videos where I review business books and I tell you what's the meat and potatoes of the book and you can take that information and apply it to your life. That's gonna be exclusively for the patrons as well. If you decide to be one of my patrons, link is down in the description below. However, whatever value you wanna give your audience, right? you can have them sign up for Patreon. For Patreon. Um, OnlyFans is hot right now, so I would say Patreon uh, existed prior to OnlyFans and OnlyFans depending on who you subscribe to can be a little bit wild 
right? Patreon is not as wild as OnlyFans. So depending on um, what kind of content you want to make, if you want to put out some wild stuff, maybe OnlyFans will be more advantageous to you. However, I don't really have any wild type stuff um, to put out in my private group. So Patreon works for me. So you will have to work for that, but it is possible. So the next option that I want to tell you about is freelancing. I've done freelancing on and off for many years. And freelancing is something that I often go back to. I don't know why. Like, it's just a nice way of just having something there to fall back on. But yes, freelancing can be done on various platforms. And if you have a talent or a skill, you can basically have people pay you for that skill. I use Fiverr. Fiverr will allow you to post gigs on there and people can hire you to do different tasks. And I'm on Fiverr and what I do on there mainly is I will edit YouTube videos. I also offer thumbnail services, but I rarely do that. But yes, editing videos is something that I do all the time anyway, so I'm well versed at it, so I'm on Fiverr doing that. But all right, and for those people that watched the video this long, I'm gonna give you an added nugget just for tuning in. So, hey, tell a friend to tell a friend. If you watch JT Hustle's reaction, you never know what you might get if you watch the entire video. So I'm gonna insert this in as well. Your assignment, if you so choose to accept it, is figure out, right, and it's not that hard to do. I want you to research how to create your own Pandora station, how to create your own iHeartRadio station, and then there are people that will literally charge for shout outs, whether you put it on Fiverr, on your Instagram, on your Facebook page, because a lot of people, and I would dare say the majority of people that are hearing me say this, do not know that you can have your own Pandora station or iHeartRadio station, and you can literally say, hey, listen, um, you ever heard of Pandora? You ever heard of iHeartRadio? And people's minds, these are super big mega platforms, um, which they are, right, in real life, not just in people's minds. But you can also have a station there and you can uh, disseminate your podcast um, or whatever your value is. Tell people, hey, I'm going to shout out such and such as Chicken Shack, right? Hey, if you so choose to do this, one thing that I need you to do is don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. My channel is all about empowering people. Don't hoard this information. Utilize it. Get your, get your money right, but pass it on to your loved ones, your family members, your friends, and etc. And you can go on Fiverr and type that in, and you can literally see people making money by doing that, right? And it's something you can do for yourself. Another option is to try Upwork. So yes, you can make 10K a month by being a freelancer, and there's many other freelancing jobs. You can be a writer, you can do articles, all kinds of stuff. There are just so many options with freelancing. So yes, that is a great option to make 10K a month or more if you're dedicated to it. So I hope this video was helpful for you all. Definitely was helpful for me. Hope you guys got value from it. I'm going to end it right there. Be sure to go show her channel some love. Let her know JT also sent you. Put in the premiere or in the comments of this video, what reactions would you like to see in the future? Whether it's uh, what other channels. It doesn't matter how many followers they have. It matters how much value they're giving to the people with me. So I don't care if they have zero followers or a million followers or more, right? It's all about sharing uh, the value, right? So that's what I'm all about. Um, whether it's uh, content creators or whether it's just a particular subject matter that you would like to see reviewed on this channel, uh, I want to continue to be an asset to you, providing as much value to you as I possibly can. So there you have it, you guys. Until next time, so I'm a hustler, stay hustling. JT Hustles, I'm gone.